Thank you very much, Your Royal Highness. My friends, I'm going to keep this brief because I've got some, I've got some heroic people behind me who have been on floats all afternoon without being allowed to touch a drop of beer. So I'm going to get very quickly through it. So we've come now to the final tear-sodden, juddering climax of the Summer of London 2012. And it is, of course, right, Prime Minister, you're absolutely right, that we should pay tribute to all the thousands of people who have helped to deliver the greatest Olympic and Paralympic Games that have ever been held. So yes, we say thank you to the armed services and the police and, and G4S, all the G4S workers, yes, and the transport workers and the tens of thousands of volunteers, the London ambassadors and the games makers and the TFL staff. But above all, it is right now that we should thank the people without whom the last six weeks would simply not have made sense and not have been possible. The most successful team of athletes this country has ever assembled. And I want to say to you, all you, my God, there's a lot of you. Oh, I want to say to all of them, every single one of you, this was your achievement. This was your achievement. You, you brought this country together in a way we never expected. You routed the doubters and you scattered the gloomsters and for the first time in living memory you caused tube train passengers to break into spontaneous conversation with their neighbours about subjects other about subjects other than their trod on toes. You showed every child, every child in this country that success is not just about talent and luck but about grit and guts and hard work and coming back from defeat. And by the way, you showed fantastic grace in victory and amazing courage in defeat. And speaking as a, as a, as a spectator, you, you produced such paroxysms of tears and joy on the sofas of Britain that you probably not only inspired a generation, but helped to create one as well. And <laughs> propelled... I can get away with that. And, Propelled, propelled by no stimulant, no stimulant more sinister than the beetroot juice, unaccountably favoured by David Weir. You did rack up more medals than France, didn't you? Yes. yes! And more medals than Germany, and more medals than Australia. More medals, ladies and gentlemen, more medals, my friends, per head. More medals per head than virtually any country on earth. And yes, you brought you brought sport home to a city and a country where, by and large, it was invented and codified. <laughs> and you brought athletics home. You brought athletics home codified in London by 1856. You brought home rowing. You brought home cycling. You brought home judo. I'm not sure judo was invented in London, but never mind. But you certainly, you brought home ping pong. And above all, above all, you brought home the truth about us and about this country that when we put our minds to it, there is no limit to what Britain can achieve. You've made everybody, you've made everybody very proud. You've given hope for the future. You've given hope for the future. And on behalf of all the people of London, I say thank you with all my heart. And folks, let's give them a big cheer as they go forward to Rio de Janeiro. Thank you very much.